What's up, squad? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got something epic, like historic epic. We're breaking down the full press conference between the legend Iron Mike Tyson and the social media king-turned-boxing sensation, Jake Paul. Yep, you heard that right. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Let that sink in for a minute. Their second press conference just went down in New York, and let's just say this one was much more heated than the first one. This is the clash of generations, the past versus the present, the baddest man on the planet versus the internet's biggest troll. The ultimate disruptor taking on the baddest man on the planet. All right. So here's the deal. When this fight was first announced, the internet went nuts. I mean, it's not every day you hear that Mike freaking Tyson is coming back into the ring, especially against someone like Jake Paul. Now, we all know Jake has been killing it recently, shutting down haters with every fight. But Tyson, he's a different beast. And this press conference wasn't the first time these two came face to face. But let me tell you, it was the first one where hands were thrown. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day, he's fat. I thought, did you start training already? Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. He's not gonna win. Look at, he can't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. How you gonna knock me out? What's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He didn't get knocked those little guys. How are you going to knock me out? Who, who did he knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. I can't even get mad at this guy because everybody knows this guy's talking out of his ass. <laughs> and stealing money. I'm up here, you're stealing money fighting him. Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm gonna finish him. First off, the energy in the room was insane. Fans, reporters, influencers, everyone was there to witness history. The tension was so thick, you could practically cut it with a knife. On one side, you've got Tyson, calm, collected, looking like he's seen it all before. And then there's Jake, swagger on full display, ready to stir the pot. It was a showdown before the showdown. So, let's break down what Iron Mike had to say. First off, he came in with that OG energy, you know, that vibe that only someone who's been to the top, hit rock bottom, and clawed their way back can have. Tyson started off by showing respect, because you gotta give credit where credit is due. He acknowledged Jake's hustle, his dedication to the sport, and how he's actually bringing new eyes to boxing. Tyson stated, Jake's got something, no doubt about it. He's got the drive, the hunger, but there's a difference between fighting and surviving. I've been doing both my whole life. However, it didn't take long for things to heat up. What Mike said next really got under Jake's skin. Tyson didn't hold back when he said this. I've fought monsters, Jake, real monsters. You're just a puppy. When you step in that ring with me, you'll realize you've bitten off more than you could chew. When I pick you apart round after round, you'll realize there's levels to this. Mike's got a point. He's faced off against the best of the best. So Jake Paul? Just a YouTuber, right? Mike's got nothing to sweat. Even though the legend's pushing 60, he's still training like he's in his prime. Mike can talk all the trash he wants. The legend knows there's nothing Paul can throw at him, the ring that he hasn't seen before. Now we know Jake Paul is not one to keep his mouth shut while the other guy is running his. Jake fired back, and he fired with style. The problem child stated, Mike, I love you and I respect everything you've done for this sport. But when I meet you in the ring on November 15th, 
there won't be any respect. You're past your prime, and I just got in mine. I feel bad, I've got to knock you out. But hey, the game's the game. And just like that, the press conference turned into a war of words, and the crowd was eating it up. Mike isn't the only one grinding in the gym. Jake Paul's been at it for months. I mean, we all saw what this guy did to Mike Perry. August, I'm back, baby. So, Jake Paul was initially set to go head-to-head -head with Mike Tyson back in July. Picture this. The Problem Child versus Iron Mike. It was shaping up to be the most epic boxing match of all time. But just when we were hyped to see history in the making, the rug got yanked out from under us. Tyson had a surprise ulcer flare-up on a flight from Miami to LA, forcing the heavyweight legend to pull out. Yeah, Jake wasn't too happy about this. Obviously devastating news, I'm heartbroken speechless like gutted we've been working so hard over here everyone in this camp and i just feel bad for everyone involved in this event the whole undercard this is opportunity has been ripped from all of us but i do uh value mike's health first and foremost love that guy I have so much respect for him and um i want mike to be healthy and he says he still is gonna knock me out and i bought myself some time so mike is still talking shit over there uh but mike if you want to do this like you said behind closed doors behind the scenes you've said you want to do this in q4 you just need a little bit of time so i'm ready whenever you are this is too big of an opportunity i think this fight's going to change the world and i turn all my l's into w's that's a motto i live by and the universe makes no mistakes so let's see what's in store but sorry this didn't work out to everyone the fans love you guys so, Jakey's left hanging with a massive hole in his fight card. But this dude doesn't mess around. He finds a new opponent, and who does he pick? Mike Perry, the platinum piercing punk. Yeah, you heard me right. From one Mike to another, but totally different vibes. Perry's the face of Bare Knuckle FC, or at least he was before Jake Paul embarrassed him in front of millions. Mike Perry was all bark and no bite, he became a punching bag for Paul in the ring and ended up getting knocked out cold. Now, This had everyone doubting Tyson's chances against Paul in the ring. Jake Paul really showed he's a force to be reckoned with when he took on Perry. But hey, Mike Tyson is a different beast. He told Paul to count his days because once Tyson's done with him, he won't be able to step foot in the ring ever again. Different day, same fate. I'm a knockout Jake Paul. This fight has made a lot of rounds on the internet and attracted reactions from everyone around the world. Now, all the pros have locked in their predictions. Manny Pacquiao believes Jake doesn't have what it takes to beat the one and only Mike Tyson. Manny, what do you think of Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? Oh. That fight just got announced. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. They're going to fight, huh? Yeah, they're going to fight. Do you think Jake Paul can beat Mike Tyson? I don't think so. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather kept his response short and gave his predictions in favor of Tyson in only three words. Money Mayweather said, Mike by knockout. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.